Hey guys, it's Tony again, and as I said in my last video, I'm going to be reviewing a product that I've been using for quite a while now. Um, I'm going to be reviewing a Free Tom Prosthetics Sleek 5 inch 2 in 1. And for those of you that don't know, it's a prosthetic penis, so if you are not comfortable with seeing that, click away now because I will be showing it on camera. So, this is the uh, prosthetic that I just mentioned, which is the, the Free Tom Sleek 5 inch 2 in 1. And um, it's the Caucasian color, which I actually got the wrong color because it's supposed to be darker than your skin tone. And as you can see, it's, it's not. It's actually kind of orange, and you can't really tell because my camera is shit. But, yeah. Um, it's pretty decently sized. I know a lot of trans guys say when they get it, they're not entirely happy with it because it, it's pretty big. And this is the first, um, like, packer or anything that I've ever had. And I, I love it, honestly. Like, I love the size. It's, I couldn't have asked for, a, like, a, a better first packer or anything. But, um, there's these, this, um, you can't see it, oh, okay, there you can, uh, like the pleasure slide, and I know I got the two-in-one, but I think they use the same, like, model for both the four-in-one and the two-in-one. The only difference is I think the four-in-one might be a little more firm, and it has this, like, rod that goes in it, so you can, like, bend it, and it makes it more stiff for, like, playtime. But there's a pleasure slide in it, so you can see that. And, uh, like, it's a two-in-one, so I haven't tried it out. But it's also designed for men that are already on testosterone, so they have quite a bit of growth already down in that area. So, another reason I haven't tried it, because I'm only on, on testosterone. But, um, this is the cup that you use to pee in and it like sits against your body and to use it you kind of have to like push the balls up a bit so like all the liquid goes down and I've actually only used it successfully once because I am really bad as I have come to just figure out at using the end pee devices and I it's probably because I'm not used to like standing up to pee and my flow is kind of aggressive once I actually do convince myself to start using the bathroom. But, um, yeah. It's kind of sticky. I don't know if you can hear this. Usually I have, like, a, a powder on it, and they, they actually tell you, not, not on the Free Tom website, I don't think, but, like, on a different website that I was using, not to you'd use baby powder, but to use cornstarch, which is kind of weird. That's what I've been using. Uh, I use this. So, if you wanted to know about that. And then when you put the cornstarch on it, it does actually change the color of the prosthetic. So instead of it being this, like, strange orange color, it's, it's a little more pale, which is better than this, because this is not my skin color at all. It's it's too light and <laughs> it's too orange, so the next time I get one it will be darker. And hopefully with the Paint Plus upgrade, because I actually really wanted that, and it looks really cool, it makes it look really realistic. Not that this isn't realistic, because like it has veins and stuff, like I, my camera's really shitty, so I don't know if you guys can see this. There are veins here, and it's got the like, this part. than the hole that you pee from. And they've actually improved the balls a little bit and the products that they have out now, they have a couple of new ones. Um, the balls on it look pretty great. I'm not gonna lie. And I'm actually looking into getting a new one, but I don't have the money and they're kind of expensive. 
not as expensive as like a real magic or anything, and especially, and it's like, for being as like realistic and stuff as it is, it's, it's a decent price. Uh, I haven't ordered from them in a while, like half a year maybe, so it hasn't been too long, but it, it's still a while. But when I ordered, their customer service wasn't all that great, and it, it has changed uh, noticeably, with, like even without me using it since then. But uh, when I had used it, they had only were only answering emails on Saturday or something. So like if you emailed them about your product or something, they wouldn't get back to you until Saturday, which was kind of awful. I I don't know why you would do that. And it had a, like a 17 day ship out guarantee and it definitely was not shipped out within 17 days. I waited like three months for this thing to come in. Two months, three months, something like that. But, yeah. So that's like the actual product. And I actually still have the box that it this thing comes in. It's um, pretty discreet. It doesn't really say anything. This is the box that it came in. Um, the front of it says Free Tom Warehouse, but it doesn't say anything about being like a prosthetic or a, like a, a dick, essentially. It doesn't say anything about it being a dick in a box. It just says, um, like Free Tom Warehouse, and then it gives you an address. It's kind of hard to see, but, so that's like the packing label on the box. And then when you open the box up, you get your, like, receipt thing, your packing slip is what they call it, and it gives you, like, the order over here, and then your total. So, yeah, it was the sleek 5-inch, I was correct. And then they give you this thing, which is the Freetown Prosthetics Care and Information Brochure. This is what that looks like. And it tells you about care and packing and peeing, play, pleasure, and some like various questions. And I think they give you the same like brochure for whether you get like the two in one or the four in one. But um Yeah. And it, it actually tells you in here when you wash it, not to use any kind of soap or anything that has silicone in it, which is understandable considering the prosthetic is made out of silicone. Platinum silicone. But I use this baby wash. It's Johnson's Baby Head to Toe Wash because it is silicone free and it smells great. Well, it smells like babies, I guess. But it, it could smell worse than babies. But, um, you can, it does, like, the website does actually say that you can use it, like, in the pool or in the hot tub. It actually says don't wear it in the hot tub for too long because the water's hot and you don't want anything to happen to your prosthetic. And I have yet to use it in the pool because it's the only one that I have and I'm kind of afraid of what will happen despite the website saying that nothing's going to happen, that you are perfectly able to wear it into the pool. Um, I have harnesses for it. I have the one of the rodeo harnesses and it's like a brief harness and it's just the o-ring and that's not actually not the first harness that I got for it, it but it's the one that I prefer. The other one was like a jock strap harness and it, I actually, the slit on the front was too small, so I actually had to cut that part open. But it wasn't very comfortable, like after a while of wearing it, um, especially with the binder and then like your pants and your underwear, your pants, and then your like belt if you wear one or whatnot. It kind of digs into your sides and it hurts a little bit. So I don't really use that one a lot anymore. Um, so I use the rodeo harness, and I would show you the rodeo harness, but it's in the wash, so I cannot do that. But the Freetown website has a link to the website, 
So if you go and visit Free Tom, it's on there, and I will leave a link to the Free Tom website in the description below. Oh, my computer just turned off. <laughs> but, yeah, like, all together, I'm pretty happy with the product itself. Oh, if you wanted to see the, like, package that it came in, that just comes in plastic. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the prosthetic, and I'm really looking into getting a new one because they have some great new products out, and the Paint Plus upgrade looks fantastic, guys. Like, it is, it's ridiculous. And I'm probably going to get the 4-in-1 despite not using the other features on it. But, um, I do recommend this product despite the kind of iffy customer service. But like I said, I haven't used the customer service aspect of their website in a while, so it could have improved. But I do wholeheartedly recommend this product. It's like, personally, for me, it's a great size, and I'm only like five foot four. So, if you wanted to take that into consideration, and I'm honestly like the palest person you will ever meet. Like that, this is tan for me. So when buying the product, you might want to, like, consider a different color if you're more my skin tone, I guess. Because it, it's actually kind of orange, and um, I'll post pictures on my blog, which is, I'll probably just put it in the description. I know it's in one of my other videos, so you guys can probably see it better because my camera is very poor quality, and I apologize for that. But I will take pictures, and then I will take pictures of it without the powder, and then again with the powder in comparison of my arm. You can actually see the difference there. But yeah, it's pretty long and like floppy. But yeah, and it, it, it packs well, like with a pair of briefs, you just tuck it and you're good to go. Like a, actually I use boxer briefs. But, yes, so I do recommend that product. And, uh, I hope that review helped you guys, and if you want to see more reviews on any other products, um, leave a comment, and I'll, if I don't have the product, I will check into getting it, and doing a review on it, but, um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below, or on my transitional blog that I will be posting a link to, but that's it guys, so, I'll see you later.